So welcome back YouTube friends. Here I am hoovering out that drawer from part one of the big drawer tidy out and so now we'll get on and do some more. There's an awful lot of this to do. So the glue gun then can go back in there and that can be where all the bits for the glue gun when I find them they can all go in there as well. So that's that can maybe that can be the drawer with all the glue and the sticky stuff and so on in there that's fine so never mind this doing one a day let's do another one should we do this one now this one is just full of fabric oh it's not it's full of all sorts and fabric okay so we'll just put that there we'll take out all the fabric and we'll sort the fabric out And then see what else there is in here. What's this? Ah, oh. what's in here then? <laughs> so there's a ballpoint refill. So before I throw that away, I'll put it over there because I think I've got a pen like that one over there. I can try it in there. This is a, it's one of those things you wipe your hands with from about a thousand years ago. And here's another one. So I have two of those little wipe your hand things. I'll put those in my bag uh, so that uh, if ever I need to wipe my hands, uh, I've got one uh, ready to go. This is a little uh, glass, um, like a storage thing. Do you know something? I don't want that. So that can go in there. And these then, oh, what's this a picture of? This is a picture. Now that's interesting. That I find this picture today because that's a picture of my son sorry Owen holding a brand newborn baby and that little baby uh, was oh I don't know maybe a week old but it's her birthday tomorrow and she'll be 12 so that is uh, a nice picture he looks a bit tentative doesn't he <laughs> I'm gonna keep that picture we'll put that in the keeping pile and this is a few little stickers here. I'll put them in there and I'll stick them on people's parcels if I send them parcels. Uh, and there's a bead we don't want that. So, okay. Um, I hoovered that last one out because it was full of, really full of loads and loads and loads of little bits of muck and dirt. This one's not so bad. Now, what have we got here? Well, that's Liberty. We take the Liberty out. Um, come on, Kate, what are you keeping this stuff for? The problem is, I was making something on Saturday where I was using pieces smaller than this. So I'm not quite sure what to do with these. They've, I have a lot of scraps of fabric like this, a lot. Uh, I mean a huge amount, you know, because that will have, I'll have cut the bit that I want out of there. But the day you throw something away, you need it the very next day, don't you? I don't know quite what to do with these. What do you do with your little tiny scraps of fabric, girls and boys? What do you do with them? Because I have these now. I mean, I don't think I need to keep that, do you? But I have this kind of thing. And when you need a little bit of pink gingham, nothing else will do. Oh, I don't know what to do. And so that's why these drawers are like they are, because they are full of, I don't know what to do with that. Right, okay, decision time. So I'm going to get another box and fill it full of scraps of fabric and then we're going to go through all the fabric scraps and we're not going to keep, we're going to be ruthless. So for now then, all that fabric there, what I might do is, if anyone's even slightly interested, I might bundle them up into colours and send them to anybody who wants those as themed colours. I might do that. So 4A is now clean and empty yeah that's what I'll do I'll uh, it'll be an opportunity this to have a big big sort out of all my little tiny fabric scraps which to be honest whoops a daisy a lot of the things in here are that now this is velcro and velcro is very useful stuff to have but I'll tidy that up and put it back a little bit neater and this is a pack of zips also very useful to have now what I'm thinking is the zips are going to go in with the, the glue gun 
and the velcro is when i've tidied it up it's going to go in the glue gun as well so yeah i've got lovely little squiddly bits of fabric like this and there's another project that didn't see the light of day which is um when i was i was having a play with um equilateral triangles so what i might do then is i'll put those in there see if anybody wants my half finished projects and then there are some very nice pieces of fabric you know so that's a very useful piece of fabric for something or other but these are scraps again that's what we're going to do oh that's um another another jelly roll strip it can go on the scraps it's black <laughs> this fabric uh, is hungry caterpillar fabric and uh, I've made a few things with that in the past it's fantastic I made a dress for that little girl that you've just seen the baby of when she was about four I made her a little hungry caterpillar dress and her mum said that everybody at school at nursery wherever she was they all wanted one so I probably could have gone into production making hungry caterpillar dresses. Okay, guys, so that's another big pile of uh, scrappity fabric there and an empty drawer. Hey, this is going well. We'll keep going. I'm having a good time. Ah, now. Now this, then, I'm going to throw away, am I? I haven't thrown it away in like 10 years. Hmm. I'll have a little think about that one. Let's put it there for now. This is um, interfacing. Very, very, very useful to have. We'll have a, an interfacing drawer there. That's okay. That can live there. And this is a sort of a... Um, well, it can't possibly be a tea cosy because it's not warm enough, but that's the shape it is. And I've had that for a thousand years. I've got a suitcase upstairs full of things like that. So I'll put it in that suitcase and I'll show you that suitcase one day. Another scrappity scrap of fabric. Now what's in here? First of all, what's this? Ah, these are some glow in the dark stars. What I might do with those is stick them in with the little girl's birthday card. Because her birthday tomorrow. I'm going to give her a card. She can have those. She might like those in her bedroom. She's 12. Are you too, are you too old when you're 12? I'll give them to her anyway. And then in here, oh my goodness sake, what is, what's in here? These are paper doilies. Oh, 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 aren't they gorgeous? Oh, look at this one. This one, what's this? It's not a doily. Look, this is, I don't know what you do with this. What is it? hasn't got any description has it it's a sandwich server look it's a sandwich server so I'm guessing you make the sandwich is that is there more than that and pop it somehow or other inside there put your sandwich I have no idea but I've got all these sandwich servers I feel inclined to keep these because I think they're awesome and then some just ordinary straightforward doilies which I adore doilies first of all I like the word doily <laughs> I like the word but then um, unless these are the sandwich servers because these are a bit small to be serviettes aren't they these are little padded plate things I'm, t I'm definitely going to keep these I think they're great I can't I can't even remember where these came from but they're really old I have acquired all sorts of things years and years ago oh man I used to have a workshop about four miles from here which was a uh, huge it was above a cafe and it was absolutely enormous and when I left my old job uh, and to, to work on my own I had this workshop uh, where people would bring anything that they no longer wanted and I would recycle it and make it into something else it was I did it for three years it was quite an interesting uh, thing to do these will have come from that time I'm sure okay so then here I have some origami paper just two sheets but it's the poshest most beautiful origami paper you've ever seen now I have a drawer upstairs with origami paper in so that can go there and get taken upstairs Okay, the lace doilies and the sandwich servers are staying. So they can sit in that drawer and go back in that drawer there, up there. 
we're doing really well. Ah, now then. Ah, now this one. Okay, this draw. As part of all that being given things, I was given these. And this was someone who was clearing out her mum's things after her mum had died. And her mum had been an amazing patchworker all her life. Now these are accurately cut squares. What size are they? Let's see. Three inch squares. But the thing about them is they're not cotton weight. They're not this nice cotton weight. They're quite thick cotton, really quite thick cotton. And they are in uh, uh, just a, a small range of colors. So there are a few strips like this. This is it's amazing stuff. I don't know what the woman did with it because of course she died. I never met her. But there were all of these, the same weight fabric now, if you're following along with the dog project, I hope you are, then you'll remember I said, please use all the same weight fabric. This would all together would make a dog, although there's a very limited range of colours. But what I did with this was, well, you can see it over my shoulder. I made this and I made, um, there's, oh, they're over there. I can't show you them because I'm tethered to this thing. But I made this. So because I had them, I looked at them and I thought, now what can I do with that? Then I made this, uh, this is all hand stitched. Um, I hand stitched it all together. And then I stitched a piece of, in this case, um, the fabric here is Indian block printed fabric or really beautiful Indian fabric. And then I stitched a square of that on, just roughly cut and then cut the middle out. And I'll show you actually, because they're just here, just a second. So last summer, when it was so beautiful outside in the pavilion, I took these pieces of fabric here, all these beautiful colours, and I made these, which were, are the same as this, but smaller versions. Here they are, and if I hold them up to the light, you can kind of see that the light shines through them. If it's a bright day, you can see the light through them. So they look well in a window. So I have one, two, three in that color no there's more here three in that color and those are these are four indian block printed pieces again four five in that color and then the bluey green ones one two three in that three three in that color so i've got eight of these that i that i stitched and they've got little tabs on the top there. It's all hand stitched. It's, there's no finesse about this. It's all really raw edges. And look, you can see on the back there that what the thing looks like. So I stitched eight of these last summer and I haven't really, I had them in the shop for a few minutes. <laughs> I haven't really known what to do with them because I want to sell them. I made them to sell, but I'll tell you what I struggled with. I struggled with how to fasten them you know, because I can put two little cleats on the top like I have, you see? The little cross stitches there. And then it's up to you then to work out how to hang them. And the way that I hang them, I'll show you. This is just a little wooden knitting needle. And I would suggest that if anybody was interested in these, that that would be how I would hang them like so not on a knitting needle just on whatever you've got handy and then put a couple of um hooks or nails or something i like them in win in the window because the whole idea of them is that the light shines through them and so the the whole point of them is because this is on my glass door here it's just hanging there i made that one oh, a few years ago and somebody uh in the comments once oh a year ago maybe said oh what's that thing on your door and so I thought, it is nice, isn't it? Uh, it's, um, it was lovely to make, and I really like how decorative it looks up there. So I'll tell you what I'll do now that we're talking about it. I'll breathe some life into that little project. I'll finish them, and I'll get them listed in the shop. But that's what all this is. 
it's uh, these squares and they are amazing I like them a lot so what else is there in here is some some more scraps of fabric uh, again and so I'm going to sort out all this heavier weight cotton and isolate it off because it's not you can't use it with uh, ordinary cotton it's just too heavy so I'm going to separate it all out I'll get everything else out of here and then I'm going to put those back neatly there were some white ones as well she was a really interesting woman I think this woman's mother I talked to her about her for a long time and she'd uh, she'd just been someone who sewed and made all her life like so many of that generation did okay oh that's another drawer we'll put that over there Okay, so this is all scraps of something else. And this then is all that fantastic heavyweight cotton, which can live in there by itself for now until I find something else to do with it. That goes there. And there's a little sheep in here as well. There's a long story behind the sheep but we haven't got time for that today. The sheep can just sit there with the other long story. Okay, that's gonna go back up there then. I'm not going to do that top drawer because I know exactly what it is. I'll do that a different day, that's cotton. And it's just cotton. And I know that some of it's actually not very good quality, so I'm not going to keep it. But that is what that is, cotton. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six drawers. Um, I won't no, I th no, I'm going to stop now because I'm still feeling uh, okay about it and if I carry on doing it I'll get really down. So uh, right, so we have to sort out what's on the table then. So we have some good big pieces of fabric and there's a box down there. This is a box of fabric here, I'll put it here that uh, I've been using, uh, and I, I know you've heard me talk about this few commission, the couple of commissions I've made. This is one of the boxes of fabric that I pulled for that job. So they just need to go back exactly where they were. That's fine. These little scraps though here, uh, I can sort through and decide what I'm going to do with them because I'll tell you something, there are an awful lot more of them. Now, just there's a bigger piece that can go on that pile as well. Yeah, these are just little pieces though. I have a huge amount. I'll fill boxes full of those. Just before I put this in with them all though, because that heavier weight cotton that was in uh, this drawer here, this stuff here, this is a fabric by uh, Cotton and Steel, which is a designer that I really like. Uh, it's called Tokyo Train Ride. You can see, can't you, the train running through it, but the rabbits as well, and, the, and the, uh, there's some foxes too. Uh, little foxes and the trees. I really really like this fabric and I bought it a few years ago and I made a bag with it which I use from time to time uh, and this then is heavier weight cotton not this weight so it's going to live in the drawer with the heavy weight cotton that can live there right I'm ignoring the rest of them because I just I, I, want, I want to finish while I still feel like doing it that's a different thing altogether but let's sort out what's on the table then so these are things that I'll just send to people if they want them for next to nothing. These here, let's talk about what's inside here. These are all the component parts. The tiny little bits of paper. I am going to keep these. I'll show you why. <laughs> In this bag then, are all the component parts for making these flowers. Now I have them on my mantelpiece because I have a lot of made flowers, felt flowers, fabric flowers and these paper flowers that are a bit old now so they're getting a bit tatty around the edges but these are made out of uh, uh, music note paper, the middles of envelopes, um, yeah they're just those two things and they're stuck on, <coughs> excuse me, uh, coloured knitting needles uh, which gives you the little dot in the middle which is like the centre of the flower. So uh, I really like these and I must have made thousands of these in my time. Uh, this is a bag full of component parts to make more and uh, I've made them 
I don't do this quite so much now, although I do if I'm asked, but I, I do um, workshops where I help people do all the preparation for their weddings. And these days, uh, uh, you know, there's all sorts of alternative um, wedding planning that people like to do. So I, uh, I've made bunches of flowers for tables like this. Um, uh, that was one wedding I made. And um, I, did we ever make them as buttonholes? I think we might have done. Anyway, I do wedding prep with people, all sorts of different things. We'll talk about that another day. But these then are fine. There's no reason for me to get rid of those at all. So we're going to have a, and I'm not getting rid of these drawer, and that's going to be this drawer here. Because one day I will need them. And I tell you what, if that fits in there, and it does, I think the stars can live in there then. So the sparkly stars can live there, and if they're at the front I can see them and then I'll know that my glittery stars are in there. That's going upstairs, the uh, fibre. These are going in a drawer over there because that's where they live. That I like. The badges. We're going to have to have one drawer full of bric-a-brac, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay, I don't really want to leave this table covered in stuff. I'll sort out this um, Velcro. I'll just wind it and make it neater. I'll do that later. I'll, you don't want to watch me doing that, but I will. I'll roll that onto a nice roll and put that away. These, I'm just going to tell you about these another day because I have a project coming up soon that I want to make along with you. And these kind of feature in it, bizarrely. So for now, I'm going to keep them. Am I going to keep them? Yeah, I'm going to keep them. Where though, Kate? Where? OK, that's a box full of scraps of fabric that I'm going to sort out. This is going to be a growing box of things. And as I do each of these drawers, I'll, I'll wait until it's full. Then I'll think about having an online yard sale with what's in this box. These then we've talked about. I'm going to actually think about finishing them and getting them online because that would be a really good idea. These then. OK, shall I tell you about these? I will tell you about them, guys but it'll have to be in part three. Sorry. Thank you for watching.